Cancer of the prostate is the most commonly occurring cancer in males today. More than 200,000 men are newly diagnosed with prostate cancer each year in the United States. It typically affects men over 40 and is more prevalent in African-American males and men whose families have a history of prostate cancer. And while surgical removal of the prostate is still the gold standard for treatment, an innovative therapy is giving patients a welcome alternative. It's called brachytherapy and it's performed by implanting radioactive seeds directly inside the prostate. The radioactive seeds are about the size of a grain of rice and allow for an accurate targeted dose of energy to the prostate to destroy the cancer. The concept is not new, but the technology is. Brachytherapy was experimented with about 30 years ago, but we found that we couldn't really accurately place the seeds where we wanted to. The ultrasounds that are currently available to us allow us to guide needles into the prostate and put the seeds exactly where we want to. That was welcome news to Larry Simmons, who was diagnosed with prostate cancer this past April. I started to do a lot of research on my own to try to figure this thing out and all the treatments that I looked at seemed to indicate that I could have any treatment. And it was a possibility even with uh, brachytherapy, I could have uh, brachytherapy without, uh, without an added type of treatment also. And I like that idea. Larry's cancer was detected through a simple blood test called prostate specific antigen or PSA. The higher the PSA level, the more likely that cancer is present. He was a good candidate for brachytherapy because his PSA at his time of diagnosis was fairly low. It was below 10. His grade of tumor was low also. And by staging or how extensive we found his disease to be, we thought that he had low grade and localized prostate cancer. I think Larry had very realistic expectations of the procedure. He knew already that his PSA was not going to go down to zero immediately after the procedure. The implantation of the seeds takes about an hour and is generally done on an outpatient basis. This form of treatment causes fewer complications when compared with surgical removal of the prostate. With the brachytherapy, the risk of causing problems with erections and incontinence are minimized and also there's not a loss of ejaculation. Choosing brachytherapy over traditional prostate surgery is a tough decision for any patient to make. But it's a decision Larry feels was the right one for him. I think it's happening just the way I was told it was going to happen. It's progressing exactly that way. So I have every reason to be, you know, to be comf uh, to, to feel that, that, uh, that we're in line for a very, very successful treatment. Larry's about six months out from his implant. His PSA is uh, di diminished by about 50% already. And in another two months, he's going to be due for his next PSA test. Based on his grade of tumor, how localized his prostate cancer is and how well he's done. I expect that Larry's going to have a very good result with his brachytherapy. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starn.